Welcome to Voices from the Bench, a dental laboratory podcast. Send us an email at info at voicesfromthebench.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Greetings and welcome to episode 282 of Voices from the Bench. My name is Elvis. My name is Barbara. What's happening, Barb? You sound a little down. Pissy? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. This comes out Monday and the triathlon Sunday, so I'm just coming down to the last week and staying super uber focused and well overtrained. I'm tired of uh, swimming and biking. I want to become a runner again. That's my <laughs> <laughs> How about you? I mean, I'm doing really well. I had a great week. I'll talk about that in a minute. But are you prepared for this triathlon? Are you ready to kill it? Are, are you good to go? I'm good to go. Yeah? Good to go. You got nothing holding you back and you're you're just ready just to win the whole thing, right? No, but I'm ready. <laughs> Heather asked me, are you ready? I said, well, I'm prepared. I don't know if you're ever ready to jump into Lake Michigan, you know, when it's cold as hell and you live in Florida, but I'm as ready as I'm going to get. Yeah. I usually say, ask me three seconds before I start. I'll let <laughs> yeah, you know. And your, your tummy's all nervous and yeah, Ugh. it's kind of like getting on stage and speaking. I feel the same way about uh, racing. So you know, I get myself nervous then I use that energy to propel me through it. So I'm yeah. Excited. So the email came out with start times. I don't think the relay starts until like nine ten in the morning. Oh, what email? Did I miss it? Was it oh. from Chicago? Yeah. Maybe I'll forge I've you. been looking for it today. So yeah, I'll look it up. I need yeah. to know. I but I was it. like nine ten in Chicago, that's like ten ten my time. Once Mark Williamson and Bobby Kenny finish, I'm not gonna start till like two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. I know. I'm kidding. I'm really looking forward to doing the race with those guys. I think we're going to do good and hopefully raise some more money. That's right. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Yep. But I mentioned this week, yep. I had an amazing opportunity. So on the last episode, I mentioned that I'm doing a series of webinars with Dr. David Rice, talking about the challenges between clinicians and their staff, of course, and labs. Oh. Well, I had the opportunity to visit the Ivoclar U.S. headquarters in Buffalo, New York. Good for you. Have you ever been there? Oh, yeah. It's amazing. It's beautiful. First of all, I want to thank them for their wonderful hospitality. They made me feel like a, I don't know, a king out there. It was really nice of them. Oh, is that no pun intended, Elvis the King? Uh, pfft. Is it always <laughs> a pun? I don't know. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got to have dinner with a bunch of cool Ivoclar people. But before I went out there, they asked me if there's anything I wanted to see or learn about Ivoclar. And they were like, how about zirconia? How about our mills? I'm like, I know all about that lab stuff. Teach me something about the clinical. And Dr. Sashi, I don't know if you know him. And he's got this long name that nobody can pronounce. So we all just call him Dr. Sashi. He sat down with me and taught me more about cements and composites than I think I ever really signed up for. It was a fire hose of information. It was insane. Did you even know that there was try and paste for Emacs? Yes. Where was the secret this whole time? I had no idea. Well, I mean, when you go and try veneers in with the doc in the mouth, you get exposed to that. So that's my passion and that's what I do. So yeah, that's why I know. I think more labs need to know about this kind of stuff. Well, there you go. I tell them, I have a clear, you need to be teaching labs about the clinical side so we can help solve all these problems because they're calling us. Yep, they sure do, man. But we had a great conversation with Dr. Rice and the whole team about this upcoming webinar and how it's going to flow and everything. This is going to be a great webinar. It's going to be filled with questions, a whole bunch of sarcasm, and maybe, hopefully, a couple solutions. I don't know. I hope. I hope, too. So head over to VoicesFromTheBench.com backslash Ivaclar for a link to register for this free live webinar that's going to be on LinkedIn. Head over, guys. Let's go. And that's backslash Ivaclar, huh? It's normally Is it forward, forward slash? I don't I thought know. That was a back. It's... We do this about every three months. <laughs> Whatever the normal slash is in a web address, I don't know. There you go. 
Ford. All right, Ford, all right. So all right. you know, let's move on to the triathlon. This is the week of the triathlon. Has anybody or everybody donated your money yet? You're running out of time. Please, please go to dentallabfoundation.org and click donate now. You can choose Race for the Future. You can choose myself. You can choose the abutments. You can choose Voices from the Bench. We'll split it, and we thank you if you do. It's a really great cause that supports and educates our industry and helps out so many of our fellow technicians, and maybe even you if you would apply for a grant. Mm -hmm. So let's go. So it's your last chance to donate before next week when we are either talking about the race or there is only one host because one of us died in the water. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm just saying I'm not touching the water. <laughs> I know. I'm with you. I'm not going thank anywhere near the water. <laughs> <laughs> if you do donate, thank you. We, If you have donated, thank you. We appreciate it. Absolutely. So this week is like an all-female European reunion. Nice. And I wasn't there. Now, Yeah, where were you, Barb? I can't even remember where you were oh. during this time. But it's one of those situations we have so many people spread out on a conversation. We don't like to reschedule. Yes. But I was definitely outnumbered. It was like four to one. But we missed you. Thank you. But the show had to go on. As this week, we welcome back four previous guests to update us on what's happening in their careers and at their labs. Prepare for last names to be butchered. (laughs) <laughs> First up is Nina Frickenton, who is at Mango Dental now. Our favorite couple, Emily and Eleanor Petard, from the Hive Dental Lab. Yeah. And then we have Dika Barakahada. Barakahada. That didn't even sound like you tried. Deepa Barakadad. <laughs> I think I got it right. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. All four of these amazing technicians are doing even more amazing things since they've last been on the show. But they also banded together to create a new group called Night Shift. I was just on there today. There you go. Really neat. It's really growing. They created this group because they were complaining about the lack of females in the spotlight in our industry. So Nina, Emily, Eleanor, and Deepa started a social media group to help encourage, empower, and support other female technicians but i tell you the social media group is just the beginning they have big plans for night shift yes so join us as we chat with nina emily eleanor and deepa what's the worst part about getting into digital and dentistry that's not having the support that you need and did you know that Ivaclar has digital equipment sales specialists? These experienced professionals, now these are people that have been doing this for a while. They're here to help make your transition to digital a smooth one. Don't waste your time with anyone else. They help provide customized solutions, analyze your ROI, provide hands-on assistance, and localize support. All of this catered to your needs. Let's be honest, when we're into digital, most of us have a lot of needs. Contact a digital equipment sales specialist today by emailing digitalspecialist at ivaclar.com. Tell them you heard it here on the podcast. And always, Ivaclar, we appreciate your support. Voices from the Bench. The Interview. With a crowd this big, I never know how to get started, so we're just going to jump into it. Everybody ready? Yeah, yeah. let's just go. Awesome. <laughs> Super excited today to be joined by four past podcast guests coming back. And the greatest thing for me, actually, is... Finally, on this podcast, I'm the one with the weird accent. (laughs) I love it. (laughs) So let's get started. First of all, we're joined by, and I'm just going to go in the order in which you were on the podcast past. So I'm not playing any favorites. But first up, we got Nina Freakington. 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 How do you say it? You did it much, much better the last time, I have to say. (laughs) Well, I think I actually practiced last time. Nina Frickantine. 
But okay. Yeah, I'll okay. go with it. Okay. Back <laughs> on episode one seventy one. Can you believe it? A hundred and seventy one was the episode you were on. Yeah, it's been some time. It's been a hot minute. What's going on, Nina? How are you? Yeah, I'm I'm happy it's Friday and I'm happy it's the weekend. <laughs> it's been really, really busy recently. Has it been busy? Too busy, too busy, Elvis. Well, we can't be sad that it's busy. At the same time, I know we don't always like it when it's too busy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Uh, next up, it is our favorite couple from the UK, Emily and Eleanor Petard. Oh, <laughs> check that out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you like that? We'll see you. <laughs> from the hive. From the Beehive Lab, episode 211. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. How are you? We're good, thank you. How are you? Doing really nice. Everything going well in the hive? Yeah, it's, it's going amazing, actually. We're having an amazing time. I think last time we talked, you were just getting ready to open up a clinical space. We were, and we have. We've got, we're actually currently sat in the clinic having this chat right now. Oh. So it's, um, yeah, it's it's all taking off and d- doing touch wood really well. You'll be pleased to know that it is fully decked out in all things hive related. So. Oh, yeah. Nice. There's, a, there's a bee, a, like, door hanger thing for your coat to go on, bee clocks. Tastefully done, though. Don't imagine. Of course, yeah. Bee, yeah. Like... She's not, like, dressed as a bee scene patient. I was going to say, <laughs> anybody dresses as a bee now. <laughs> <laughs> you well, know, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I am. Uh, and then wrapping it up, but last but not least, good old Deepa Madilia. Mandilia. Oh, I take that. Is that oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> terrible. It's fine. You said my maiden name instead of my married name, but I'll take it. Mandalia. Oh, I did? Yeah, yeah, Mandalia is. Nice. So episode 213, welcome back. How are you? Thank you. I am well, thanks. Doing great. So what I'd like to do first is kind of get everyone what you've been up to since the last time you've been on. We don't need to go over every detail, but some of the big things maybe you've done. So Nina, what's been going on since, uh, God, what is that now? Two years ago now? Yeah, it's been two years. Well, after my episode with you, (laughs) things started about to happen. So as you know, <laughs> I, oh, I, I'm not going to say that you push me to the stars, of course, but you know, you surely helped a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so um, after uh, the episode, probably you, as you know, I left my old lab, so I'm not working anymore um, for my old mm-hmm. lab. I actually pack up my stuff and move in the north of England. So I'm close to Newcastle now, quite close to, well, around two hours from Edinburgh, Scotland, just to paint a picture. Uh, I moved to, now I'm working for uh, Mango Dental Technologies, and we are based in this little village, Sedgefield. Well, before I was living and working in quite a big town, So it's been amazing because I really wanted to find a little bit of a better work-life balance and just being like, we are 20 minutes, I'm 20 minutes from the sea now. So just being in a little bit of a quiet rural place really did wonders for my mental health as well as physical health. Oh, sure. And yeah, well, now I'm working for Mango Dental Technologies. We are a fully uh, operational lab, so we do everything from dentures to implant work to crown and bridges and nothing. I've been actually lucky enough to become uh, a lecturer in the last two years. So I did some uh, courses with uh, Annex Dent. I did quite a big US tour last year. I, re- I think I did eight or uh, nine states <laughs> in a span of, I think, 10 days. Nine states you did in that? I think I think it was around... Wow. I think was around yeah i think it was around eight in a span of 10 days there was a lot of flying a lot of traveling and by the end of it it was an amazing experience but i was tired elvis i was tired the bag under my eyes had bags of how tired I was. <laughs> <laughs> but it was an incredible experience and i just want to thank annex dent to you know to take me on this adventure 
then I also had the amazing opportunity to speak at the Ladies of the Mill, um, that it was also uh, an incredible experience and so empowering being surrounded by such a great community, female community. Then, well, there was like, then I started to do some courses, some webinars. I uh, had the privilege to speak also in the UK on some dentistry shows. And now I'm just in the process of uh, really doing more courses, more lecturing. So yeah, I'm a busy, busy, busy bee. And of course, I also entered the Pantera Master Cup this oh. year. <laughs> just because to top it up, you know, to make sure that uh, I'm really, really busy. <laughs> and I'm lucky enough to have entered in the top 10. So, yeah, I'm like uh, trying to finalizing now the my uh, little project and send it off. <laughs> because I'm really, really obsessing over it for too long. And yeah, that's it really. And try to also have a social life. So that's fun. <laughs> but that is me. That's all you've been doing, huh? Yeah. 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 She doesn't do a lot really, to be yeah. honest. She <laughs> probably do a bit more, to be honest. Like pick it up a bit. Yeah, boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, I try. I said this year to myself, Nina, you know what? You're not going to take a lot on because you have to concentrate on yourself this year. You have to concentrate on you know, getting better and being healthy. And uh, and then I say, well, no, that plan can just, uh, you know, be forgotten. <laughs> and just, uh, I went mental. <laughs> but uh, I feel I am good when I'm busy. I'm happy when I'm busy. I'm happy when I feel that I'm yeah. achieving something. So, yeah, it might sound a little bit overwhelming. And some days it is. But uh, I'm happy. So that, I think that's the most important thing. I think just being busy is a pretty common trait that dental technicians almost need to thrive on. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I'm terrible at sitting still. I can't do it. So yeah. I, I always have to be doing something. Nina, you came over for LMT Lab Day Chicago. Was that during your nine state visit? No, that was another one. That was another one. That was where I had my first live course oh okay in chicago so that was my black like how it's called the start of everything yeah yeah that was the start of everything and then i came in the summer for the big tour that i did with uh, an extent wow i didn't realize it was two separate trips yeah <laughs> yeah that's insane so compare lmt lab day chicago to a show over to the uk Mm. How do those two compare? I think the LMT is much, uh, it's much bigger. It's uh, it's a lot of stuff going on. I think probably yeah. the, the show that can be compared uh, uh, in the UK is the DTS that it's uh, holding, um, that it's being held in May. But uh, I don't think that it's as overwhelming <laughs> as Chicago, because in Chicago you have so many lectures happening at, at the same time, and uh, there is always there is like a really really big buzz of energy, and it is very similar in the UK, just on a I think on a smaller scale. But like yeah. I've never been to any show that it was like Chicago, and I crave to go back again i want more of that kind of buzz and of that kind of energy yeah. i got i got addicted to that <laughs> no no i'm i'm guilty i'm addicted i love it every year that is great glad to hear you're busy <laughs> <laughs> uh mrs and mrs picard emily and eleanor <laughs> what you been up to oh um quite a lot i'll let emily go first oh <laughs> no, please. Uh, yeah, no, we've, as you mentioned earlier, we've opened the clinic now. Um, and me, me, myself, I've done, I'm on a couple of like big boards now, Elvis. Oh. Like, yeah, step back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is, I'm on the College of General Dentistry, which is a board of technicians, the CDTs. And we're trying to just make the industry a bit better. And our new person on the board is actually Nina as well I've roped her in so Yay. she's on the board as well so we're gonna make some big changes yeah, she's got a lot of free time so please <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah she I just got fed up of her lazing around <laughs> so, um, so there's that and also I'll make time for this <laughs> 
we we have and also we've got the uh, GDC our general dental council that sort of oversee everything we do and I'm employed on a sort of freelance basis to be an education associate now so when there's a new dental course whether it's not just dental technology it could be dentist hygiene therapist and all that they do a course and I go and inspect the the course program and see if it's up to par oh, because I'm that important now. That's a lot of power, yeah. There's a lot of power, <laughs> but it's not, um, it's, it's not just me that do it. We do it in like a little team of us, but, and um, and it's only as and when you're called out. It's kind of like jury duty, you're just like, oh no, this is at that time. Oh. No, I'm joking. <laughs> if DDC are listening, I'm absolutely joking. It's, it's a lovely job. Um, and, and so, yeah, I've been doing that, but over to Ella. <laughs> Um, I've been, I mean, obviously like focusing on the, the clinic and the laboratory and building that, um, and I've been writing articles as well, so I'm a writer, yay, I don't know if anyone reads my stuff, but it's out there. What are you writing about? So there's a couple of things, there's like online, the laboratory magazine, and then the physical lab magazine, and then for dentistry as well, and it kind of focuses on the business aspect of like dentistry in the lab, so Things like leadership, HR management, mm. mental health, that kind of thing. And then also I've written a few articles on being a woman within dentistry and also being part of the LGBTQ plus community within dentistry as well. Um, and kind of our experiences about that. So just trying to bring a bit of light to people who wouldn't ordinarily um, know what it feels like to be part of those communities in dentistry. No, that's great. There's so many articles on, out there about how to stain, how to carve. <laughs> That's some important stuff that's not covered nearly as much. Mm, yeah, it's definitely been fun writing it. So, and hopefully, there's, there hasn't been any negative feedback so far. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think I, I read them. I, think <laughs> I read them as well. After <laughs> published, or are you proofreading? Yeah. I proofread. Ah, yeah. oh, Diva, yeah. It was quite funny. Eleanor's father is an um, English teacher. And she she yeah. asked him to read it. Okay. I asked him to, to proofread because I thought, you know what, bonding, father-daughter bonding, whatever it was. And I kind of just expected him to kind of go, oh, yeah, great, good work. But then it's my dad, so he didn't. He was just like, this is good, but, you know, we could work on this. This oh. is some improvement. Yeah, so he graded it, you know. I was like, yeah. a, a there was, minus there was a red point, pen. The red pen <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, see, so she's got me, Deepa, <laughs> and her dad reading it. Yeah. So anyone else want to jump in and read it? You and read me, it. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. And Nina, all the way in Nina. You all of us. There's a whole editing board that wants to get involved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we've been like working on with Dentech as well with the charity, and um, yeah, trying to get that out there as well a bit more, get people knowing about Dentech. So yeah, yeah, that's right. How's the lab doing? Are you growing? Is it staying about the same size? Or? We are growing. Emily is is fully booked for the next like age, to be honest. <laughs> I'm looking at her weekend, her evening. She's not sleeping. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it's really good. Actually, yeah. We're getting some really, really nice dentists as well who just love patients mm-hmm. and love like just getting involved and being really hands-on, which we love as well because it just means that like you're all working to the same outcome of mm-hmm. providing something mm-hmm. really good for the patients and you know that they care just as much as you do. So yeah, it's been really fun having those conversations, I think. Yeah, we really wanted to get to a place with the lab where we could be kind of selective and not be beholden to, let's just keep getting more and more dentists. We want to get the right dentists that, that, that care for their patients and it makes it easier for all of us if we go the extra mile because we know it's going to be you know, received. well received, appreciated, and everything like that. So we're very, very, very lucky and pleased that we're in a position that we we can be like that at the hive. So yeah, yeah, that's know. awesome. Winning any awards this year for greatest lab ever? <laughs> uh, well, we the, did actually win. We did get an award this year actually already for best lab in the UK. Oh, that um, was just the that best was lab the best. in the UK. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the dentistry one. That was like um, prestige awards, which is kind of like. Award for it's, like a any, it's a business award yeah it's looking at the business side of things yeah but yeah so we're looking at entering a few later on in the year maybe well. yeah we're sort of it's, <laughs> I find it very scary because then you go up but mind you I feel like we're going to see a lot of hopefully more labs going up for awards yeah. and so we actually mm. can 
yeah. hang out with them and yeah. see them. But yeah, it's all very building each other up. So yeah. I'm still fun. waiting for them to do an award for best clinical dental technician, which they oh. still haven't done. And as soon as they do, I'm putting Emily in as much as she'll hate me for it. Oh, well, She's of course. Oh. She just puts me up for it. these awards, Elvis, I swear. It should be it's called just... the Emily Award, shouldn't it? I mean... <laughs> yeah, she would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Soon you're going to be adding on to the lab just for awards. I mean. <laughs> yes, I need a red carpet when I walk <laughs> Okay, one last follow-up. The mobile lab, is it still around? Is it still on the road? It is. You remember? I love yes, it. Yes. yes. Today, I was actually at an implant clinic today helping out with um, restoring an implant all on four, which was really good. So I had my nurse with me, and all the nurses came out to sit in the van. That was really nice and we ended up just hanging out so it's really um I love it I really do and they called it my man cave my woman <laughs> cave because so they're just like Emily you've got all your little like tall bits in here so it's fantastic I, I think they call it a she shed is the uh oh, man cave that, equivalent uh, <laughs> that a she shed on wheels <laughs> I'm all over that yes. <laughs> awesome so great to hear all that deepa deepa Hello. Welcome back. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so what's Steve been up to? What have I been up to? God, it's been ages since I spoke to you last. It's um, been a it's long time. Yeah. I've been busy, busy with working in the lab and then like stumbling across these um, small little opportunities. So um, taking on board with that, you know, I had the, um, recently I had the opportunity to speak at the Manchester Dental Show, mm-hmm. um, which also happens to be like my hometown as well. So that was really good. So uh, that was my first time um, just touching on like the basics of dentistry. Um, and I really enjoyed doing that speaking for the first time. Did you enjoy it right up until the speaking or did you enjoy it when you were done? <laughs> um, you could say beforehand I was a bit like nervous <laughs> yeah. and while I was speaking actually my um, my mouth became all dry so when I was talking to everybody inside I was screaming saying actually my mouth is dry I don't think I can talk but I'll still carry on <laughs> I do not realise why people drink water you see because they have water a glass of water next to them and I'm never really like I wonder why they keep sipping water so I was stood there without water and then I realised oh shit my mouth's really dry I can't <laughs> even gulp I was like help help but I still managed to deliver yeah and then I thought oh my god I think now I know why people drink water sometimes it's the only time I drink water is it's it public speaking <laughs> <laughs> now I know damn it <laughs> what did you speak on so basics of private dentistry so just touching up on like you know the basics of um the importance of a special tray why we should map out on the model again you know when we're doing bite blocks why i do a clear base um communication between like the lab and the dentist like why it's important oh, I love you know it. so because i thought it would be nice to touch upon you know you've got these um young professionals that are coming on like it resonates with me because when I was um, back probably 10 years ago and I used to go to these shows and I used to struggle to find labs and, you know, like, what is it? What do I need to know? And I used to struggle a lot because I used to be a lot for like dentists, not for much mm-hmm. for technicians. So I thought it's nice to reach out to them. And that's why I thought let's touch upon the most important thing is your basics. And I enjoyed delivering that as well as I kind of touched on the favorite subject on composites as well. Yeah. I love it when anyone talks about, hey, these are the basic things we just need. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. And it makes your work, you know, you do it right from the start then, if you yep. know, you know, so I try not to let go of the basics. Yeah. So it, it turned out, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. Don't you think, ladies? You were there. Oh, yeah. oh you, you were in the audience. They nice. were. Yeah, I went to listen. I learned a lot. Your mouth didn't seem dry at all. Where's the fish? <laughs> You were. I think I, I did. I kind of pulled it off then. If you're saying that, yeah, Deepa wasn't sounding like an 80 year old jazz singer by the end of it. No, <laughs> no, not this time. No. Don't forget your custom tray. No. <laughs> Just smokes 50 packs of cigarettes a day. Yeah. <laughs> 
So are you still at the same lab, Diva? Yes, I'm still there, going strong. Yeah, what's what was the name of that lab? I forget. Dencraft. Dencraft, that's right. Yeah. And picking up any new skills or anything while you're there? Um, yes, yeah, so skill-wise, yeah. Um, while I was there, uh, well, I'm still here, should I yeah. say. Again, I got the opportunity to do some live demo at the show as well. So I collaborated with Dentech, which is a UK-based charity. Mm-hmm. And I got to actually do some live demo of like pink, simple pink gum work, which was, which was really fun. Actually, I thought, okay, you know, how am I going to do this? Um, but on the day on the show, I actually did um, attract a lot of people. And nice. to my surprise, it was good. I enjoyed doing that. So again, that was something out of my comfort zone, which is yeah. good for me. I didn't know you could do simple pink apods. It's all hard to me. I tried it once. <laughs> you can with like having a three color rule. Um, not doing too many colors, you know, just for basic, again, touching on basics. If people wanted to kind of learn, you can kind of strip away and say, look, start with your basics to achieve good results. It is doable. Again, I love it. I love it when people take the time to teach basics. Sometimes it's forgotten. Some of these courses you go to, they're like, well, it's super advanced. And you're like, yeah, can't, can't do anything uh, there. Yeah, agreed. So I had a great time catching up with everybody, but that's not why we're here. Oh, God. Nina has been even busier than she was leading on. (laughs) (laughs) And came up with this interesting concept that if you're like me and you're on Facebook or Instagram, you've seen it. Yeah. It's called Night Shift. What is it? How did it come about? Well, let's talk about it. There is so much stuff to say. So let's, let's start from the beginning. Yeah. So a few years back, Uh, I was thinking, you know, um, I would like to see more female representation in our field. I was, I would like, you know, I'm going on these courses, I'm going on these shows and I see continuously male after male speaker and don't get me wrong, they are fabulous and uh, we thank them for all their hard work, but I wanted, I want to see more of us females up there Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I complained about it. I was not happy about it. I was complaining about it. And then it just clicked into my head that nothing will be done and that I should do something about it. <laughs> that nothing is coming to do it for me. Yeah, complaining gets you nowhere. Yeah, yeah. So I started this um, group that it's called Night Shift. And it's to empower women dental tech in the industry. And yeah, our mission statement is to put a spotlight on amazing female dental technicians, celebrating and normalizing them as leaders and educators in the dental industry. So practically, we want to connect women working in the dental laboratories with their peers and uh, building a strong sense of community and mentorship among them. So that's our mission statement. Practically, it's a group that wants to, let's say, heal our industry. Mm -hmm. You know, we put it out. We put it out, like, I think a month ago, and we got such an amazing response from our community. Uh, The... um, is it's just I, I'm I'm so happy. I I cannot be happier. The women in our community responded so well, and we are just growing slowly, growing, growing, and it's just amazing. And of course, I knew I could not do it by myself because uh, I have big plans for this group, and I know that I am like I'm a little bit spaced out, Elvis. You know, like every dental technician, I need my team. <laughs> I need a good team. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I ask kindly these uh, three amazing uh, ladies to join me in this adventure 
of course, like uh, Deepa was in definitely an easy choice because she is one of my best friends. Uh, we worked together for years and I trust her in everything. And she will definitely oh. tell me if I'm doing something wrong or uh, if she does not like something. She has like, you know, she does not hold back. <laughs> she looks like quiet and nice like this in this interview, but I can tell you she does not hold back. <laughs> and then, of course, course Emily and Ella have been a huge fan of their work of their lab for years you know first of course I met uh, like I saw Emily's work and just like I realized that she become that year that I find out about her she become like best dental tech in the UK and I was like wow a female best dental tech in the UK you know and I was just it just inspired me so much. And then I realized that the real brain behind the operation is Ella. So I start to fun girl on her. <laughs> <laughs> so I start to fun girl on her. Sorry, Emily. It was going so well. You're still yeah. there with the work. Like, you, I still think you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, you still have the award. I mean, come on. I tell you more. And then I start and I realized that these three women, I need to have them on my team. If we want to make stuff happen and stuff change in the UK industry, I need to have a good team. And I could have not, I personally think I could have not chosen better people to have this adventure with, as I said. So, yeah, like I'm just excited for the group and what uh, it will bring. Uh, you know, I'm I'm having now this interview with you. Uh, we are writing some uh, articles about the group. So people are starting to hear about it. You know, we are using the group to introduce um, female dental technicians to each other, you know, what they are doing. And uh, like we are using it to share some knowledge, some tips that uh, we use in our everyday work uh, to make our life easier. We are using it to share articles, um, to share uh, Ella is kindly doing, like uh, she's sharing some marketing idea and, you know, stuff that it's it's not just dental laboratory orientated, mm -hmm. but everything around it that can help us grow, really, in the dental field. Yeah. So, yeah, a few days ago, let's say, uh, just a few days ago, there was a lady asking for advice about um, digital dentures. And uh, like the there were so many answer, helpful answers there and so many people, female, offering their help. And I was just, I felt amazing. I felt amazing because this is what I wanted to have when I was uh, starting and I didn't. And so to be able to offer like support uh, especially to younger female technicians that are getting in this industry and maybe they're a little bit lost. It's just, I, I'm very proud of us. I'm very proud of what we are trying to do, you know. So why the name Night Shift? Where does that come from? I knew that will name. I knew you will ask me this question. <laughs> <laughs> so um it didn't it doesn't have like an incredible meaning i just like when i was growing up in croatia uh like i pulled a lot of night shifts <laughs> and like i don't know really a got it yeah i don't know really a tech that didn't pull a night shift in this uh in this job like from my generation let's say maybe the new the new generation has it like a little bit different but like where i come from like i used to work nights days weekends whenever i could to just you know be on top of my job so I thought, you know, and I know lots of techs that still do it. Yeah. So I thought, you know, night shift is, um, I think, something very appropriate. <laughs> it's a great name. It really uh, grabs thank it. Thank you. Thank you. But I cannot be like, I will not say that I come up with that name because like, I am, I, my friend actually uh, from an accident in Germany, Sina, she is trying to do something similar in Germany. So we have Ladies of the Mill in the US. We have Night Shift in the UK. And now my friend Sina, she's trying to do something similar in Germany. 
and uh, she is having a play around in a German version of this night shift. And I was like, Sina, this is such a cool name because like, you know, I was working nights and that will really resonate with dental technicians. Can I steal it from you? And she was like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I am not that uh, creative Elvis. So I asked the girls what they thought about the name and we all agreed that it was really cool and catchy. And so night shift was uh, born. That's awesome. I liked it. it. reminded me of like a superhero. I felt like, you know, like Nightwing when Night Shift. Ooh, there you yeah. go. With the yeah. ladies. Although Nina did keep referring it to it as the ladies of the night. And I was like, I don't think that's the right thing. <laughs> like, I don't think we should go down mm. that route. But yeah. And we all know most of the time we we spend on social media is at night too. So. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> meaning. We're stealing that. Very good. Yeah. So, Deepa, you're the one that tells Nina every time you do it wrong. You're the one to... In a nice way. Mention it. Yeah, in a nice way, of course. What did you think when she brought this idea to you? I loved it. We've, been, we've worked together. And yeah. We've spoke about stress, this, that, you know, just being ourselves. And I knew she wanted to do this a very long time. And she's worked so hard to get where she has. Like, you know, all credit to her you know, and it's been a struggle because she's so talented and she didn't really have the right support she needed at that time. And, you know, coming all this far and then thinking, right, I've been through this, but I need to give people voice. And I was like, wow, okay, I am all for it. Mm. But I'm really proud of it. And I am I was really thrilled when they actually she asked me, um, would you like to be part of it? And I thought, this is the perfect thing. Let's do it. So I am quite grateful for her to, to have me on board. <laughs> Yeah. What exactly is everyone's role? How are you all involved with getting other people involved? We've got a WhatsApp group. What we've done is we talk on there. So any ideas, we'll plow through. Um, and then from there, we've just kind of given ourselves the roles of how we can pitch in, how we can look at emails, um, how we're going to do our Instagram, our Facebook. So we've all kind of taken our roles of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And then we've... Uh, come across like ideas of how we're going to like um, promote ourselves, what we're going to do, um, fun, easy. Um, so we've thought of like um, getting some little merchandises out, which we're really excited. Oh, you guys are going to have merch? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. of course we are. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, we'll send you one. You can take a picture, tag yourself yeah. in a, you know, shameless marketing, yeah, of course. that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't love a t-shirt? Come on, Elvis. Uh, I hear you. Yeah. So we've got some like cool designs um lined up. We've even got um our friend Mackenzie on board as well. She's kindly volunteered to do some really cool designs. So we really can't wait for you to like see it. Yeah. Um and what we've done at the moment, what we are doing is we've collabed with like Dentec, again, our UK based charity. So what we're doing with them is um we're designing a few t-shirts um with them so they'll have an online shop um people will be able to buy some t-shirts and other merch from them and all that money that is um raised with them that's collected that will go to a good cause like it will help them to fund um people's smile that um people can't afford so it's doing something good for them yeah so when you sell your merchandise it's mm -hmm. not for profit it's all going to a charity hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, I love yeah. that. I absolutely love that. <laughs> um, and also, what we're really excited about is our um, symposium. What? Yeah. <laughs> we should have Already? had drum roll there. <laughs> have a drum roll. <laughs> Already, you guys are. I always say you guys. Already, y'all are putting together a symposium. We are trying yes. to. Oh, yeah, we're taking over the world. Do you not remember? Come on. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Now I, gotta go. now I want to go to the UK. You have to come. We need your support. <laughs> so talk about that, or are we too early in the in the making? I can give you a brief lowdown. So we've always wanted to make it big. That's the actual idea. Um, so we, wanted, we want to make our presence on the dental show. Yeah. But get there um we've kind of jotted down how we're going to go if we want to make it big we need to start somewhere so we discuss ideas that oh we should do in the interim do online mm -hmm. 
get tickets on like Eventbrite, get people to connect from all kind of world, you know, speakers on board, sharing technique skills um, in dental technology and other areas as well. So you can have, like I said, people from around the world connecting at different times, allowing people to absorb all the knowledge, um, you know, attracting, especially like um, younger generations, inspiring young people as well in the industry. Yeah. So that's how we're thinking to kind of go around. I love it. I've always wanted the to do a show, you know, like a live show with the podcast. Yeah. But my whole hook would be it wouldn't start until noon. <laughs> <laughs> Every dental show I, I go know. to, you got to be up at like 8 a.m. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's too much. So, Emily and Eleanor, how are you involved with the night shift? I'm guessing Eleanor did all the uh, design oh. of the logo. Ooh, no, nice. actually. What? No, I know. That was like 100% from Nina's point of view, getting involved in that one. So, but my role is more looking at, it's just kind of opening it up to everyone within the dental industry. So just saying it's not just about mm. highlighting how incredible female dental technicians are, but also the support group around them. So as someone who's kind of been in the admin, reception, management side of things, like very rarely are there any groups or organizations or anything that kind of, you know, are around the admin side. You kind of just get forgotten a little bit. And actually, like, everyone is a great support to um, completing the work that's needed for everything. Mm. So it's kind of like encouraging other people. So if you've written an article or um, you've got like something valuable to bring, like you're really good at photography, for example, or you're, you know, you've got great organization skills, or you've figured out a way to improve efficiency or productivity in a lab or anything along those lines. And, um, you know, you're great at design, whatever it is, it's kind of going, yes, we want to hear from you too. Give us your thoughts, give us your knowledge. Um, let's all share it together. And like, we can just build a better community for everyone where we're just all sharing knowledge. So that's my side. It's like encouraging people who are not actually technicians to get involved as well. Yeah, that's important. And I'm part of the group to look pretty, Elvis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I hear you, Emily. <laughs> I'm, with you. No, I'm mainly to um, sort of help bring companies in as much as I can with the connections that I have clinic sure. as well to sort of like get them on board and because I can run accredited CPD courses we want to be able to give that out to people who are following night shift to so that they can go on get CPD um do you have CPD I think we've had this chat before do you have CPD? uh yeah we have CE credit yeah oh, I think so. we determined it was similar and um I'm oh, sorry do you know, I literally, Ella was just mouthing to me and say this. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, I, and I'm a CDT. So um, obviously we've got incredible Nina and Deepo who have the dental technology background. And obviously I, I do have the dental technology, but with the clinical, I can get yeah. that little spin of that side of things um, because there's not a ton of female um, dentists, CDTs. So, so yeah, so that's, that's why I'm there too. So yeah, and we also do, we have our certain days to post mm. different things on the the platforms. So Eleanor and I are on a Wednesday, that's our day that mm. we do post. Oh. I say we, Ella obviously storms <laughs> in and steals the show, but I'm there as well, just looking at it. But yeah, that's yeah. basically yeah. <laughs> You give an approval nod. I do. So that's important. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You've mentioned clinical are you involving female clinicians into this group or is it strictly dental technicians? I think certainly like CDTs, like clinical dental technicians definitely are being involved. And really it's like one of those things where it, this is not like a, you can, you know, you have to be this in order to get involved. It's a, everyone get involved, but there are obviously groups that are already directed towards dentists uh, by the implant dentists and breaking them down further. So the focus is on the laboratory industry, which includes, I love it. Dentists, clinical dentist technicians, but we would definitely be open to you know dentists wanting to, wanting to get involved, wanting to learn more about the technical side of things, and obviously share their expertise and what would help them clinically because that would help us technically. So mm. it's kind of open for all, but obviously the focus is the laboratory. Yeah, the main thing yeah. I think with night shift, there's no exclusion. We're aiming it to females, but that's not at the exclusion of mm. males. It's just giving that platform for them so same with dentists and things like that it's definitely we don't want people to see it as like 
you can't sit with us. It's not for you. <laughs> yeah, we want our allies as well. Mm. No, sure. I mean, I joined the yeah. group and y'all let me in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We want to just make really sure <laughs> it's for everyone. Yes, that it's for everyone. So that it's not just because we are pro-female does not mean that we are anti-male. Because you and I spoke a uh, few weeks ago or days. And I told you that I'm getting every now and then this kind of comments like, oh, what, boys are not good enough now and stuff like that. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's about mm. uh, supporting um, females. And we sometimes have a little bit of a quieter voice. And we are perfectionists and we feel like we have to exceed in what we do to have a chance in this industry. And uh, we just want to support mm -hmm. a little bit more our peers, you know. And the night shift, as uh, it's mentioned before, we are a group open to everybody. So, like... There is no, like, we don't want to be like, to be seen as this feminist group or something like that. And this, I think it's really important to like, yeah, to make understand that. Sure. If someone is hearing this episode and they, they hear Night Shift, they go to social media, what can they expect when they go there? So they can get like a combination of, of things. You're going to see representation of other or like women within the industry so it, like every week we're kind of showcasing an amazing female technician showcasing her work her background so giving you an insight into her and also a, a kind of a top tip from her as well i'm um, using it to find new guests by the way yeah. <laughs> exactly like literally the best best of the best and then glad it, glad to help. <laughs> you get like new tips and things like new um like how to's yeah, we're literally a CV mm. of amazing technicians. Yeah, and information, like education, a lot of things that, you know, in dental technology, there's, we do keep some things, cards close to our chest and mm. don't share them as much. And I, speaking as a female dental technician, when I got into the industry, I was with my partner who, he was a dental technician as well. And we both applied for the same jobs. And I got rejection letters saying that, you know, we're, we're too full. Whereas he would get a job interview. And um, mm. I was like, oh, that's strange. Even though I was actually more qualified than him because um, I'd got higher in grades. And also I was a dental nurse. And some of the places that he went to, he'd come back and tell me that they, they essentially were like, oh, we don't want to show her what to do because she's just going to get knocked up and leave like we wouldn't do that to take on oh, yeah. yeah and that kind of mindset which as a business owner it's not as if I don't understand why that has become a mindset however that really does need to change um, yeah, well, and um I know that they in dental technology when I've been around that scenario so they've sort of kept some of their tips and tricks to themselves and might have then a 15 year old lad might walk into the lab and they'll be like, Hey, let me teach you this brother. Like, let me teach you. I don't know why they talk about that. They don't. <laughs> and, um, and, I would, and I would always feel like, Oh, give her the pretty stuff. <laughs> she can, she can deal with the, that kind of thing, or she can sort that out. Whereas we feel like night shift. I want to be able to say, actually, this is how you do it. And you don't need, you don't need to be really strong to be able to do this bit or really, you know, we're not making it with our genitalia. So, like, <laughs> so that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's about us. Like, we are obviously putting the information out there and putting the, yeah. you know, the, the spotlight on people out there, but it's about the community. It's about everyone getting involved, everyone giving their tips, everyone supporting each other because, you know, that's what will build it. Yeah, I know Instagram, it's a little harder to create a dialogue. Hmm. So I imagine on Facebook, that's where people are asking questions and everybody's jumping in to answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And then Instagram, everyone is just really lovely and they're just like, you're amazing, you're incredible, like such a great story. Like, so it's really nice just to see everyone supporting everyone. And for mm -hmm. people who kind of, you have your, their photos on there and have their work on there and stuff, just to get that feedback from their peers, I think, if nothing else, it's just like, yeah. yay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not absolutely. out here alone. Like other people are there with me, and they think my work's okay. So, nice. <laughs> and I know you reached out saying, "Hey, if you want to be featured on Night Shift, let us know." Are you getting a lot of people wanting to be featured? Yeah, it seems pretty good. People are, I think they like to be involved as well. They send stuff through email they dm so we are getting positive feedback it's just now having to schedule it in and post them out 
on our Instagram and Facebook. Um, so it's been really positive. That's fantastic. Yeah, and we are still encouraging people as well, you know, like feel free for everyone to drop a tip, you know, um, get your introductions in, show, showcase your work, because this is a platform, you know, um, this is the community. You've got a lot of support. It's a great platform to voice and showcase your work and we back in the time you know didn't have this so this is a great you know platform to be on yeah and i notice you don't do just people out of the uk you have uh, around the world yeah Yeah. you've had janelle on who uh here in indiana with me oh yeah yes worldwide (laughs) so any country anyone yeah absolutely we want everyone involved we want a worldwide community of people who are like Yes, we love teeth. Let's go. Okay, you got an upcoming symposium. Do you have a date for that yet, or are we not even there? We are not even, we are not yet. So the cool thing about being online is that we can reach everybody, everywhere. Instantly. You know what I mean? Yeah. We don't have yet a date for the online Yes, we don't have yet a date uh, of the uh, online symposium. We are hoping somewhere in November. And as Deepa mentioned before, we are hoping to have a presence at the uh, DTS next year. But we need to work out to this. So it might not happen. But it might. We're going to see how, how it goes. You know, it goes, uh, it's quite a lot of work behind organizing something live. But that's our ultimate goal, to have actually a presence. Also, I would like to mention uh, one important thing that uh, night, what Night Shift is about. It's about, uh, it's about free knowledge. So we want to give accessible knowledge to people. It's not only about the symposium where the speakers will be females, but also, like as uh, Emily uh, mentioned, like we are reaching out to companies and actually lots of companies are reaching out to us because they want to support nice. us. Yeah. And yeah, that is that is cool because they want to support us. And we fought hard. How can we use all this buzz and this support that it's coming from everywhere. So we are trying to, we are asking companies to gift gift a webinar. So whatever they want to talk, if they want to talk about digital dentures, if they want to talk about Mayo, if they want to talk about uh, Anax Gum, does not matter. But it's some, it's an hour with an expert and it's free knowledge for the community. It's something that you maybe, you know, you wanted to know, but you did not have an opportunity. So we are asking companies to support us like this. So if any company is listening this, get in touch. Like the salesman salesman (laughs) is coming out now, Elvis. (laughs) So get in touch. Yo, yo, go for it. Yo. So get in touch because we need you to support us. We need you to support our community because in the end, we are we all need to support each other. And if you have a cool webinar, a cool speaker, something that would volunteer an hour webinar to the community, get in touch and let's make uh, let's make it happen. Let's get this accessible knowledge to technicians out there because that's the that's the idea behind night shift yes Woo. yes <laughs> <laughs> and this all started a month ago yeah yes yeah we don't do no. things by half yeah. <laughs> wow that's insane to me that you've already mm-hmm. seen this growth and this much potential opportunity in a month people are scared to cross nina <laughs> 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 Yeah, she she carves her dentures with a flip knife, not a wax knife. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's just showed that this was needed. This group was oh, needed. I love it. So how in our yeah. community? 100%, 100%. Mm-hmm. So how do people find you? Is it just night shift online or night shift yeah. tech? Yeah. yeah. Oh yes, night shift on dot Instagram. tech yep. on Instagram. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. And then on Facebook, is it the same? Well, I think so. Oh, it's just <laughs> Night Shift. That's a good okay. question, Elvis. Very oh, good. Just Night Shift. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just search night shift and find yeah. it. And anybody they want to take a look at it, you don't have to be female. They let <laughs> me in. It's all good. <laughs> Check it out. Follow it. See what happens out of this group. I I really think you y'all are going to do some great things. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We, are we so hope so. Mm-hmm. I mean, Nina's not going to let you not do great things. <laughs> <laughs> He's the fool. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Just wait. We'll be big things to before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for everyone for joining in, talking about not only just what you've been up to since you were on the podcast, but really talking about this exciting night shift. I'm, like I mentioned, I'm really glad it's happening, and I can't wait to see what comes out of it. And if your symposium happens podcast is going to the uk that's all i want yes that's yeah. all i need to happen so yeah. thank you so much thank you no, thank, thank you, you. Thank, thank you for the editing yeah, good good luck. This. thank you <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you elvis for having us Guys, a big thanks to all four of you, Nina, Emily, Eleanor, and Deepa. I'm really, really sad that I missed it, but thank you for coming on our podcast. I'm definitely bummed, but I love what you guys are doing. Anytime we can encourage any technicians to do better is a win for all technicians. So make sure you follow all their social media, which I said I was on today. It's on Facebook and Instagram so that you can be updated on when the swag is available and ooh, when their symposium is going to be. So with these four amazing technicians, we expect even more amazing things out of them. Good luck, ladies. I'm in, just saying. I'm on your page. I love it. I was showing my fellow technicians who were female today, so. And I'm telling you, if they have a symposium, the podcast is going to the UK. Oh, yeah. (laughs) We're there. All right, everybody. That's all we got for you. We'll talk to you next week. See ya. Bye. All right. Somebody's excited. (laughs) Ugh. <laughs>